find the derivative of f of x, which is equal to the square root of x plus 1. Well, we know that by the definition of a derivative that f prime of x is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all divided by h. So let's try to use this definition of derivative to determine what it is. So that's going to be equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of the square root of x plus h plus 1 minus square root of x plus 1 all divided by h. Well, if we try to use direct substitution with this, we'll get the square root of x plus 1 minus the square root of x plus 1, which is 0, divided by 0. So we can't do that. Um, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to use some algebraic uh, skills or the conjugate and multiply both the numerator and denominator by that conjugate. So we're going to multiply by the square root of x plus h plus 1 and then plus the square root of x plus 1 in both the numerator and denominator. So x plus h plus 1 plus the square root of x plus 1. Alright, and when we do that we will end up having the limit as h approaches 0. Our first terms or the square root of x plus h plus 1 times the square root of x plus h plus 1 is just x plus h plus 1. And then we would get plus these two roots minus those two roots, which, which cancel out. And then we would have minus square root of x plus 1 times the square root of x plus 1 is just x plus 1, all divided by we have h and then that conjugate that we have there. So we have h times square root of x plus h plus 1 plus the square root of x plus 1. Okay, so now from here we're going to distribute the negative 1 through. So that's the limit as h approaches 0 of x plus h plus 1 minus x minus 1 all divided by h times square root of x plus h plus 1 plus square root of x plus 1. And now we should notice that we have a positive x and a negative x. They cancel out because they add up to 0 and we have a plus 1 and a minus 1. They cancel out and add up to 0. We also have h divided by h. Well, h divided by h is 1. So both of those values are 1. So we now have the limit as h approaches 0 of 1 divided by square root of x plus h plus 1, still inside of that first radical, plus the square root of x plus 1. And now we can use substitution and put 0 in for h, and we'll get 1 divided by x plus 1, or 1 divided by the square root of x plus 1, and then plus square root of x plus 1. Well, there are two of those. So it simplifies to be 1 divided by 2 times the square root of x plus 1. And that's what f prime of x is. Which is answer choice A.